Ooh, lordy. Oh, my goodness. Hey, y'all. It is July something or another, 2017. And it is hot, hot, hot in Alabama. It is pushing 90 degrees right now and doing nothing but going up. It rains every day. And the humidity level is so high that you could probably um, cut it with a knife, I guess they say. But uh, you about the humidity is so high, you about have to use your windshield wipers in the middle of the, the, the day uh, with with the sun shining on them. It's so, so darn humid. We got a bee removal to do up in Gadsden, Alabama. And before I left the house, I realized I had no buckets to put uh, junk comb in. Uh, the honeycomb which I will use to feed back to the bees so that they can uh, make it through this long hot summer that we're having right now. Uh, it rains just about every other day and w when it rains it ain't raining like that little sprinkle just to make your grass grow so you got to cut it more often. When it rains here it, it's darn near floods. We had drought for two years and now all of a sudden we're getting caught up with all the rain that we didn't have before. So, going, uh, I got to go by and pick up some buckets, and I got to pick up some rubber bands over at the uh, Office Max. So I'm going to uh, run in there and go get that stuff, and then we're going to head up to the location where the speed removal's at, and we're going to open up a ceiling, and we're going to check them out. So, stay tuned. supplies we are headed to the job we're gonna go uh, get into this mess hopefully it won't take long just a few hours to get her done and got some bottled water back there in the cooler this is a bumpy road come on Alabama you've got enough money fix the roads let me get a number one with no tomatoes and no pickles Alrighty, gang. Well, here's our here's our entrance hole, and you kind of see where I was talking about how the roof line kind of come up and it gives this little elevation higher spot into the uh, living room, and the secondary roof line that's been built over top of it. Well, the, the deal is that had it not been for this roof, that that would have just burnt the bees up, and there'd have been no way they could. Uh, they could survive in that heat but anyway we're gonna get inside here right right here going pretty much that way it's where it squares off so from about right here to where it flattens right there that's gonna be our bare space all right let's get rolling
Alrighty, boys and girls, here it is. Anything about that? Bunch of bunch of bees. So, got a nice little brood area. Uh, can't wait to find our little queen up in there. Got honey here, uh, honey there. I'll tell you what, based on based on the time frame, they've been actually using up a lot of their stores as far as the honey goes. We've had crazy rain this summer and uh, I think they're going through a lot but we got we got bees all the way up and back over here in this corner so there you go let's uh, start taking this thing apart and see what we got and uh, try not to make too much of a mess you know what's coming next a little bit of music and a little bit of vacuum so hang on Two little sections left right here on this left side of the little two by four joist or truss. Uh, Pollen frames, a little bit of honey in the top, so no big deal. I will save those and I'll put those in a frame. That'll be great for them as far as food goes. Um, you can see in here, the bottom just dropped out. It's one of our uh, daily rainstorms. So, knock on wood, the bees have not changed their attitude. They've been pretty laid back, chilled, and I'm happy, happy about that. But uh, we've still got the biggest part of the hive to do over here because pretty much there's a little bit of brood. The farther it gets out, the less brood you'll have and the more honey you'll have. So the problem is, is that I'm going to have to start on that end and work my way up in here because of not wanting to open up anything else and go in it from this direction. But... Uh, I think we can turn around and do a nice slow enough job where we keep from running the queen and catch her, but these first couple of pieces over here are going to be a pain. So anyway, I'm going to get back to reducing our numbers, vacuuming as we go, and uh, uh, you know, watch for the queen. Hadn't seen her yet, but um, you know, that's about it. So if you guys made it this far in the video, thanks for getting this far in the video.
Alrighty girls and boys and girls, there we go. Um, Got to finish scraping that, that little bit of junk out of there. And uh, what we're going to do is, we've got some stragglers here at this entranceway. So we're going to go ahead and take the camera and look in there make sure there's nothing going along this wall going that way. But uh, uh, I'm 99% sure we vacuumed the queen. I pulled the top off that vacuum and it took about 10 seconds for them girls to be quiet. Other than just a minor fanning. So I guess we backed her. But if something changes, you know I'm going to turn around and show you. But otherwise, give me a few minutes to get this cleaned up and we'll uh, say goodbye here in a few minutes. Well, there we are. How about that? Man, it's a lot of bees. And what you don't know is... There's just that many more in the box. This is crazy. Um, this is crazy. Now listen, I hadn't seen the queen. I I am very comfortable and confident that I vacuumed her. I, I say that because all the way home they were just as chilled out as they could be. They were not upset, making a lot of noise. It was just minor fanning to keep them cool. So there was not a loud roar in, in the Colorado BVAC catch box. And uh, I have found that that's a great sign for me kind of knowing whether or not I got that queen. Thanks for checking out the video. Um, I hope you'll take just a moment to hit the subscribe button so that you guys can get updates on my future videos. Uh, we got a couple more removals coming up this week. And I uh, would love for you to be able to catch those too if we can get them on film. But other than that, I'm going to take a few minutes to make sure these girls get their little butts up into the box. And... Uh, I'm calling it a night because it's about 7.30 and uh, I'm pooped. Man. So see ya. Thanks for checking out the video. Have a great day.